Hey guys, it's Matthew. It's been a while since we checked on this outdoor flood and drain system. Uh, I don't even think I've shown you guys the plants I put in here. But before we get to the plants, let's just take a look and see how the batteries and the charge controllers are doing. So I'm really happy with how these two 6 volt batteries are doing. These are pretty much golf cart batteries, but they're wired in series to give me 12 volt. And from that, I can run everything I need off of here. I have a 12 volt pump, a 12 volt air pump, and a 12 volt timer. And so there's no need for an inverter or anything with a system like this. Despite all the cloudy, rainy days we've had this year here, uh, the system never really had a problem with that. I think the batteries really hold a lot of juice and even with that air pump running 24-7 it has no problem reaching full charge throughout the day. So I'm thinking I could even run another um, air pump off of this, which I do have a second one. So I might look into doing that next year and expand things just a little bit more. I like the idea of keeping everything in here 12 volt. You're not relying on an inverter that could potentially fail and inverters aren't 100% efficient at converting DC to AC anyways. So this way I know the power I'm getting into these batteries is 100% of it goes to the equipment it needs to run. Looking at the plants in the greenhouse is a bit of a different story because things in here aren't anywhere near what they were last year. The plants themselves looking a little sad. So last year these plants were about three, four times the size and just putting out a lot more peppers and looking a lot better. The roots still though look alright, but I'm not too sure the reason for the slow growth. I have a few theories as to why these things aren't as big and as healthy as they could be. Uh, one being the seedlings just weren't up to par when I put them in. Uh, they looked pretty sad, but I was in a rush uh, to get them in here before I left and just threw them in and hoped for the best. Another thing is, it's just been a lot of rain this year, a lot of cloudy skies, so it's possible it didn't get the light or the heat these things needed to really take off. And finally, um, it could come down to just the nutrients because I, ha I was never really around for uh, the beginning stages of these plants when I should have been uh, really upping the nutrient content of the water and the reservoir uh, as the plants grew and I just wasn't around for that either so I'm sure that also played a big part into why these things aren't as big as they are. The system behind me is a 12 pot system and I had 13 plants when I put everything in here. I ended up with one leftover. That one I put into the soil and by comparison you'll see it's not really doing much of anything and maybe that's an indication of the bit of the season we had this year where not a lot of sun uh, or maybe it was just bad genetics or a bad seed. So I can't be too upset that these plants aren't as large as I had hoped for. Although I'm not overly thrilled with the size of these plants, I'm really happy with the way the solar panels and the battery bank are all working. I think that's really the way to go and I can really work on that and expand it for next year. I'll more than likely make one more video of this system before it comes time to take everything out, which is coming up because October, that's when everything's going to be dying off, frost is going to come. So a few more weeks of growing and ripening time, and then that's it. So thanks for watching this one, and if you're curious about what's happening with that giant pumpkin, well, just stick around and watch for the next video because I'll be showing you guys how that's going. Thanks for watching.